In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for BaCO3 plus HNO3. This is barium carbonate, and this is nitric acid, a strong acid. Before we start, it's important to note that the barium carbonate and the nitric acid, it is a double displacement reaction. You end up with this H2CO3 carbonic acid, but then that breaks down into carbon dioxide and water. So we're going to write the net ionic equation for this equation here. First thing we need to do, balance the molecular equation. I can see there's one nitrate here, and then I have two nitrates here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the HNO3, and I believe that balances this equation, this molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. So when we look at barium carbonate, carbonates are often insoluble if you know your solubility rules. Barium carbonate is insoluble, so it'll start out as a solid, and we'll put it in this nitric acid. Nitric acid is a strong acid, so it's a strong electrolyte. It dissociates into its ions here. You can write aqueous because it's going to dissolve and dissociate. Nitrates are very soluble, AQ, and then carbon dioxide is a gas, and water is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we're just going to leave this as Ba. CO3, and I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Hydrogen group 1, 1 plus in the whole nitrate ion, 1 minus. Good one to remember. Two hydrogen ions, and then two nitrate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation here. In the products, barium is in group 2 on the periodic table, so that's 2 plus. We said our nitrate, 1 minus. So we have Ba, 2 plus, the barium ion, and again, we have two of these nitrate ions. So two nitrate ions. And then we don't split gases or liquids apart. So we just have the CO2 as a gas and then liquid water, H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. The only thing that hasn't changed these two nitrate ions, I have them here in the reactants, and then here in the products, again, I have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, so we can get rid of those. That leaves us with the net ionic equation for barium carbonate plus nitric acid. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaCO3 plus HNO3. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have two times one plus, so I have two plus on this side, over here, I have the 2 plus. So charge is the same. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium carbonate and nitric acid. Thanks for watching.